everybody. My name is Lance here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV located here in Belton, Missouri. Man, I am super excited to bring you this 2022 4551 Essex. It is so rare for us to be able to get a coach like this of this caliber to come in this lot with all the shortage that we got going on. Um, I just want us to stand back real quick and look at the colors on this. These are going to be special colors that uh, we did here at Trans West. I hope you guys like it. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. Uh, so custom colors on this, you won't see it in the book. Uh, one of the things that I really like about the Essex, when you when you first look at it at first glance, just this big front cap, right? You don't see the windshield wipers. It's a nice, big, beautiful bonded windshield. You've got the, uh, what do you got? Five marker lights there on top. You got a marker light here on the mirrors. These big, beautiful chrome mirrors. You got your LED lights. Um, now this is gonna have a lot of the safety features like your adaptive cruise control, your auto high and low uh, lights. So um, as traffic is coming by, it'll automatically go to the low light setting and um, it's gonna have collision avoidance. This is gonna be sitting on our Spartan K3 chassis. So just a lot of value packed into this coach. Now we did option to have this uh, with the Gerard uh, Nova awning package. So you can see that the window awnings are going to be power. Now what I like about these power window awnings as opposed to manual, manual comes out and it's one setting. With a power window awning you can adjust it 10 degrees, 20, you can kind of set it where you want depending on where the sun is. So pretty nice. Now when you start getting into the luxury lines you got this big old front cap here it's going to slide out. I'm just going to push a button here and let's take a peek on the inside. All right guys, so now that I got the cap out, let's take a quick peek in here. So as you can see, we've got the 12.5 uh, uh, kilowatt, right? 12,500 kilowatt generator diesel. And it's gonna have really nice, easy access to be able to get in here, uh, do whatever service maintenance you have to do with the generator, easy access to getting to all the light components. So customer friendly, but also tech friendly, right? Uh, just a really nice feature. And I just love that, how that whole entire cap just comes out. So very easy if any work needs to be done. All right, guys. So coming along down this way, you're going to see that uh, they have these big, beautiful uh, frameless windows. When we get inside, you're going to see it's just a lot of really nice view. Now, you do have eight uh, of your uh, six-volt batteries down there. And we did option to have this with the power slide trays. I know a lot of companies, um, but actually there's a big shortage on power slide trays. So what I do like about this is each one of these uh, power slide trays, they're going to have a thousand pound weight capacity. So plenty of uh, cargo carrying capacity. And just with a push of a button, we'll bring it out this way. So what's nice about this, it'll go either direction. So if somebody's parked a little too close to you, you can bring the tray out the other end if you need to. But what's nice about these particular slide trays is you can lift up on the base of that. So if you've got something a little extra heavy, you can get it up on there and slide it in. So just a nice added uh, feature there. You've got your Oasis system, that's your hydronic heating, which is gonna be responsible for heating the environment, but also for keeping your, heating up your water. So it's just endless hot water. You got your 50 foot power cord there with the power surge guard. Now, just next to that power reel, you're going to see a little round plug right there. That's the buddy plug, this guy right here. So if you have a stacker trailer or you park up next to a casita, a cabana, and you need to supply power to somebody as a 30 amp service, and they can actually draw power off that uh, big old generator you got hooked up. You got your mana block system. This is kind of nice. This is more of a residential style plumbing so if you do have a uh, plumbing issue with a shower a toilet or a sink you can isolate this uh, one problem and keep going on with the rest of the, the plumbing with the rest of the water features in the coach it does have the uh, macerator system now what I like about this is they got the sleeve on it now this is just plastic guys so with this sleeve over here it's kind of nice because you're constantly dragging this right so the last thing you want is a hole in your stinky slinky. So having this nice little cover of the hose, I think that was a great idea on Newmar's part. 
Now, this can be manually dumped or you can use the macerator. Some people don't like the macerators, but what I do like about it is you can even pump that thing uphill if you needed to. You got your, uh, you can check your different tank levels here. So you got an electronic display, you got a hot water spigot, uh, which is really nice. Okay, you're gonna see that it does also have the docking lights there. You're gonna have two in the front, two in the rear. Now this is gonna be on a tag axle. And this does have the Alcoa Durabrite rim, so uh, it's going to be really easy to maintain these rims and keep them looking sharp like this. But what's nice about this, when you're sitting on a Spartan chassis, you're going to have a 17 degree wheel cut on these rear tires. So it just makes it really nice, less wheel scrub, so uh, you'll start to get uh, some severe cupping on your tag axles if they don't turn. Now looking at this paint job, one of the things that I can appreciate that Newmar does with their high-end luxury coaches is they do a masterpiece finish, but they also do a cut and buff. So this transition here between the lines, you don't feel a transition. They do a nice job of blending these paints. So you get that nice mirror finish, but just a smooth surface. I also like the fact that they put the depth here on both sides. So regardless of where you're at at the fuel station, you can fill up on either side. Got your side mounted radiator and you'll notice that they painted it to match the rest of the coach. So the flow goes right with it. And I do like that they put the stainless trim kit right there on the bottom part to go with the rest of the stainless trim kit package. So coming around the back, just taking a big look uh, at this rear cap. I love that design that they have up there just really beautiful that air spoiler that they got on top easy access to the engine it's really nice to get out here take a look where your air filter is at you got an air chuck here if you need some uh, an air supply back here and here's what makes this thing special right k3 chassis 605 horsepower cummins motor this thing's gonna have lots of power and just look at those awnings they just stretched the entire length of the coach. Just absolutely beautiful. You know? All right, guys, so now with the awnings in, we can take a look at this thing with the sun reflecting off that paint. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's just a stunning paint job. So uh, if we start here from the rear, you can see this is what we got, what we call uh, Spartan's little workbench here. You got your air dryer, your fuel separator. You got some power disconnects here. If your tail lights aren't working, this is a good place to check. This is going to be the fuses for those. And this is going to be the other side to be able to get fueled up here for your death if you need to. All right, look at those big aluminum wheels just shining, just gorgeous. Got a nice little tool caddy here. What's kind of nice about this is just on the other side is going to be your fresh water tanks. I like the fact that they make this a usable space. Um, at least they put something in there. Great little area for storage. I seen a guy that actually bought a coach like this and he had this thing filled up with just different drinks. Uh, I think he was really big on tailgating. I like how these are all well lit up. You got your nice uh, LED lights here all throughout. Everything about this Essex is going to be finished, right? So your storage trays here are all felt lined and then underneath and around and on the walls are all felt lined as well. Um, you are going to have your central back system, but what I like about that is you can hook the hose up to this and you can clean out your cargo bays as if you want. So everything about this coach is going to be just the next level up. And we do got some nice added uh, storage trays here. Really nice added feature there. Now, one of the things that makes this coach uh, drive so nice and is what uh, they call the star foundation. If you look down in there, you got some really big beefy square tubing and it just, they call it the star foundation, strong, true, and robust. Just adds to the added support to the outer edges of those walls and transfers it more towards the center of the coach. All right. As you can see, we got another uh, nice little power slide tray. And just above that, we opted to have the exterior TV put in it. So you're gonna have your nice Samsung TV with Bose sound bar. You are gonna have a little switch here. So if you're playing your dash radio and you like what's going on in there, 
you can just switch it to the dash radio or you can switch it to the TV wherever you want the sound to come out of got your 110 outlet there so you can have your phones up here charging your different uh, phones and um, I love this uh, Dometic ice chest that they got going on here so this could be a freezer or refrigerator or just a refrigerator you kind of pick and choose what you want each side to be and they brought this slide tray out far enough to come past the slide so you have nice easy access and the slide is actually high enough where it doesn't impede us opening and closing these doors so just a really well thought out on this new mark you can fill up on either side with this coach and as you can see this is going to be the steps here you don't see it because it's completely finished out and when we open it you're going to see the uh, triple hydraulic step system now on the front here you're, there's going to be a sensor in the front and a sensor underneath so let's just give you a quick demonstration on that now when i go to open this if i'm standing too close it's going to stop and you'll notice how the steps are evenly spaced so you can still walk up into the coach so just a nice little safety feature if you got a pet maybe some grandkids it's just a nice way to keep keep everything protected the coach and the family and friends now as we walk into the coach you can see we do have a keyless entry they did put some diamond shield here so you can't see it. it's like a clear bra material we got that on the front of the coach to protect the front from any kind of rock chips but also any high traffic areas all right guys well that does it for the outside let's go take a look and see what we got going on on the inside all right guys well now that we're inside this beautiful Essex I just wanted to kind of point out some uh, highlight some of the features here now I can't go over everything um, but you know what just give me a call we can do a FaceTime video kind of go a little bit more into the details but I just want to highlight real quick like these big beautiful monitors right they're just really nice uh, again this has the adaptive cruise control the collision avoidance um, but it also has that bird's eye view um, the omni view system you can actually cycle through uh, the different camera modes so you can see here the 360 degree modes and you can just kind of cycle through what view you want okay so panning over here it's got the digital dash display with the smart wheel uh, functions here on the steering wheel now if you're gonna let's say hook up a stacker trailer um, it does have a tire pressure monitoring system already in the coach but as you can see you can add a trailer so you can kind of see what's going on with the different uh, PSI levels for your tires and then you uh, will also see that this coach is equipped with air leveling and hydraulic leveling that's what you get with the Spartan K3 chassis so there's a lot of a lot of value built into this coach you're gonna have your wireless charging system up here um, now you've got a couple cup holders over here got to have your coffee and water right and um, you've got some paddle controls here on the steering wheel for volume and uh, just a lot of neat features now we're gonna pan over here real quick and look at these seats ultra plush very high-end just exquisite these are gonna be uh, uh, heated and cool seats you do have the massage features here right so you can uh, for both the passenger and the driver which makes it really nice and then both of these are going to be recliners and we'll, we'll flip these around here in a little bit but just very nice very plush you've got the monitor system here for the passenger so your passenger can actually go through and look at the different camera modes uh, they can also set up navigation so they can type in directions as the driver is going so wingman can help out the driver all right so that's just a quick snippet of what we got going on up here in the cockpit now let's take a look at the rest of the coach well take a look at this absolutely gorgeous i love the layout of this floor plan what i like about these seats you've got a very nice comfortable reclining chair here these seats are actually uh furniture they're just not practical for get, hopping in and driving down the road this is a nice uh, addition to the actual living room space and your guest and your or yourself will be very comfortable in these chairs they're ultra plush along with the rest of this furniture your entertainment theater seating here they're both power reclining 
what zero clearance which is absolutely nice you've got a nice uh little uh couch here which is going to be um uh, it's going to have a trifold couch in there so you can sleep two adults in there as well and then coming back here one of the neatest features that i like about this exit uh, essex is the power dinette now this is a power dinette by the push of the button this part extends out now we left one in so you can kind of see what it looks like with one in and one out but uh, just makes for a very nice space and if, if you like to work away from home you can turn this into a nice office but plenty of room for family friends to kind of gather around and hang out so just an absolutely nice space and coming into the kitchen area i love the the little extension here right counter space is nice you got these nice soft closing drawers and just absolutely beautiful uh solid surface countertops here nice and deep so you can get your appliances back there and i love this backsplash if we can just take a really quick peek at that they just did such a really uh nice job with that just absolutely gorgeous all your controls all throughout this coach here like your lights overhead lights um, different systems fans things of that nature you can control all throughout the coach now looking at the ceiling you can see that this is uh, everything about the Essex has some type of finishing detail you've got one two three different uh, levels of ceiling so they spared no expense in really getting this thing nicely equipped You've got this beautiful cherry wood all throughout the coach. Um, the molding, the trims, the valances, the cabinet work, all beautiful cabinet, all beautiful cherry wood. Um, they just did a top notch job. And I like what they did with the refrigerator here. Right, they uh, encased this all in cherry wood, all custom handmade, and it made it to look like the rest of the cabinets. I think just a absolutely gorgeous coach. And just next to it, is the pantry i like how it lights up when you open the doors as you can see they do have the holes in here so you can adjust those so you can raise or lower some of those to get some of those taller items in there now this is going to be a bath and a half unit and you'll notice how there's no handle here you just push on that and that flips up and the reason why they do that is so as you're with the, when the slides are closed you're not snagging your belt loops or your pants or your shirt on the handle but really nice i like how they've got the central vac system there really easy and accessible to hook up your hoses or sweep your dust in there you can throw away the dust pan which is nice just a gorgeous half bath coming into the bedroom uh, i just want to point out the flooring in this coach absolutely gorgeous uh, i like that whitewashed look it's uh, and it's like that old barn wood um, and you'll notice just how flush this floor is a lot of coaches you have a little bit of a raise right so with this it's nice and flush you've got heated floors in the bedroom but also on the slide outs they're heated as well now earlier years um, they weren't heated so i like the fact that numar uh, when you're sitting at your dinette table or if you're standing here you don't have one hot foot one cold foot just nice even heat throughout the coach now you do have a samsung tv here along with a bose speaker as well and just across from us you got this big beautiful king bed now this is going to be a sleep number bed and um, all throughout the coach you're going to notice uh, this accent lighting i like how they really inlaid this light bar here just behind this wood column and it's that column's wrapped with another piece of trim i mean just a gorgeous design and you do have this uh, wireless phone charging system on both sides of the bed pretty neat feature all right guys let's let's head into one of my favorite parts uh now just before we get in there you're gonna see that they do have this nice little pocket door and it's mirrors all throughout and i like the fact that it's the mirrors are got that uh tint to it so they're not going to stress out uh the mind they're not gonna be too bright so that tinted mirror look is pretty nice now coming in here taking a look at this really huge shower it is just absolutely gorgeous you've got that adjustable shower head to the left and you got your your main shower head up above it is going to have aqua view so you can do you can conserve if you like to dry camp you can conserve 
on your water by preheating it before it comes out of the shower head. All right, so just across from the shower, you are gonna have these nice Whirlpool stack washer and dryer. Now, if you prefer closet space, you can have those removed. But I think you're gonna be just fine because when we get in here, I'm gonna show you in a little bit, there's a nice big rear closet, but over here, you've got your dual vanity system. You've got the his and hers set up. Um, you are gonna have the nice medicine cabinets and you're gonna have access to your wash and dryer. It's always nice to be able to get to the different parts of this wash and dryer for maintenance. Now inside this medicine cabinet, there is a 110 outlet. So if you got things that you need to charge overnight, uh, curling iron, razor, you name it, you've got it. So coming back here, you're gonna see a beautiful cedar line closet. We've got our shoe garage back here. We've got a nice place for uh, just additional items that you wanna store and you've got your safe and uh, well lit. Well guys, that does it for our tour of the Essex. Now, just for a quick treat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up all the blinds real quick. We're gonna hit theater mode so you can see when you push that button, it brings all the blinds down and brings up the TV automatically and prepares uh, you for a night of entertainment. All right, guys, so here we go. We got all the blinds open. I'm gonna push theater mode. And as you can see, blinds are gonna come down, TV's gonna come up, and then you have your accent lighting, which lights up above. So just enough soft light, like if you're actually at the movies. So. Just an absolutely nice feature. Guys, I'd love to be able to help you and answer any other questions that you might have. Give me a call, let's do a FaceTime video. Let's sit down and chat. I look forward to helping you.